Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo, and today we'll be taking a look and cruising around Android 12. Now this one is still in beta. This is actually version 2 of Android 12 beta, and I'm very curious to see how this skin, how this vanilla look of Android 12, because it's a pretty massive redesign in terms of the user interface and even some of the privacy things that was added inside. I'm very curious to see what this will look like on the Samsung Galaxy devices with their overlay of their UI of Samsung One UI. So this is gonna be just kind of a quick little look today. There's 10 different settings, 10 different features I do wanna show off because if all of these can make it onto the Samsung Galaxy devices along with what they offer, it's gonna be a pretty fun, nice year with Android 12. So the first thing we'll take a look at today will be the widgets layout. So they completely changed it. It's very simple, it's, it's clean. You're able to search any widget or application you would like on the very top. As you scroll down, you can see it's just a simple list. And then if you want to take a look at what the widgets will look like before you choose them, the, the exact size that it'll fit on your screen, you can see here that this E-Trade one is a grid of five by three. You also have this Gmail one over here. So you have a three by three, a one by one. And so as you scroll through, you can see exactly what they look like before you add them to your screen. Then all you have to do is just do a simple press and hold take it over into your screen, put it where you want to be, uh, and then you're really good to go. So that has changed a little bit. The other thing that has also changed is let's say that we go inside of this YouTube music. Now on the top right hand side, if you see this icon here, this is the widgets icon. You can see what it's gonna look like on the bottom. And if this is something that you would also like to choose, again, press and hold, drag it onto the screen wherever you would like it to sit and uh, then you're off to the races, good to go. Now, the second thing I wanna show off is going to be on the very top in terms of the setting tiles or the quick setting tiles because this is something that has been redone. They're a lot larger, everything looks a little bit more clean. Some people may like it, they may not like it, they might like it when it was smaller, but honestly, after you play with it, you do get used to it after a while. You also have a very large, you know, settings thing on the very top, your settings brightness. You can also see that little uh, image or the icon change as you bring it down, so it's like half of the sun, you got a full sun right there. So you can change your brightness sitting right there. So through here, you'd be able to rearrange all of these things, turn things on, turn things off. There's also different and new tiles you can also use and interact with. Here's your settings icon and then here's your power or the settings UI. So this is a different screen that comes up. So it's kind of like a try, little, little triangle looking screen here. So you have your power off, emergency and restart. Now, if you live in another country, maybe a different carrier, there could also possibly be another icon right over here. So yours is gonna be in a grid of like a square, but at least for what I'm using right now, I only have emergency, power off, and also restart. Now going inside of a couple things that I love, it's probably one of my favorite features, is it's gonna be dealing with your privacy and also your permissions. So you can see that there's a couple new tiles here that talk about camera access and mic access. So what that means is let's say that you wanted to open up really any application, but to make it very simple, I open up the camera. You can see on the top in the green little icon there, it's showing you what permissions are about to be used. So if I probably did something with video, then it's gonna probably show off the, the camera as well as microphone. But because something has already been shown, it's gonna stay as a little green dot on the very top, letting you know, hey, there is a permission that's about to be done. So you can see there that the, the camera permission would have to be used if you're opening up the camera, but let's say we open up Google right here, then now you're gonna see the little mic icon letting you know that there is now going to be the permission for that application to use your microphone. But as you go through here, you can have these ones turned off. So right now it is actually all blocked, just so you know for a fact that nothing is gonna happen in the background, nothing's gonna happen when you're not using it, things like that. Let's say that I open this back up right here, you can see that I have to unblock that device microphone. So then this way you'd be able to use it. Same thing with the camera. So if I was to cancel out, go back inside of the camera, you're not able to use this application. So then this way, you know, if you if you feel that you have more privacy, a little bit, it's gonna feel more secure, that nothing is just gonna randomly start working in the background, then you know for a fact anything that uses your camera as well as, well as microphone has now been blocked. Now, if you wanna use it, you just simply hit unblock. You can see the camera right up over there. You gave the permission right back. Same thing over here. If you unblocked it, you're still good to go. You can see that microphone on the top again. Uh, and so now you can see that they're also both activated. So it's a really cool tile to bring in. I did have to go through the edit 
a little icon here. So this way I was able to move them up. They used to be down over here. So there's a few of these I've already moved, but I put them all in order of what I would actually use in terms of what is important for the first screen, second screen, as well as the third screen. Now the fourth setting is one of those that if you're into customizing your phone, you're gonna love this. If you take a look, you can already see that my folders are kind of like a raindrop type of an icon. You can see that these other icons are also kind of like a raindrop type of thing. And every single application on this phone has all of that. It's a very clean type of a look. So I don't know if Samsung will leave it inside of developer options or if they're going to put it inside of maybe good luck or if they're going to put it inside of, you know, the style of your phone, kind of the way that this one is set up here inside and right next to wallpapers. It'd be really nice if it was very, you know, this simple just to go to style. And this is where you can change the way that yours looks. So if you go through here, you can see that I have a custom one with the particular colors, with the icon arrangement. So here's your default. You have your regular circle type of icons. You also have one that's that's pushed out a little bit. It's kind of like almost like a circle triangle type of a look. Here is uh, another shape. You also have this, uh, this one, which is the one that we're playing with, but I went through and I changed the color. Uh, here is a boxy square type of a look. Here's your circle square. I forget what they call that, but you can go through and you can customize this. So you can change the way that your font looks. So if you're someone who likes this type of a font, you'd be able to go to next. Uh, if you want to go through and change what your icons look like, again, this is really smart to do if you're somebody who is trying to bring somebody to your phone. So if you are using a phone with icons that look like this or an icon that looks like this, it's going to make it easier for someone to use. Now for me, I think I was somewhere right around here. I think it was this one and then I hit on next there. Now we're going to go through whichever color you would like to use. So there's some of these preset colors. Uh, whichever one kind of looks good to you. So we're gonna go with this purplish color. Hit on next. Now this is where you choose the shape of your icons. It's actually pretty cool, uh, you know, to go through. So if you want it to look like any of these here, so we'll make it look a little bit different than what we're looking or what we're using from before. So let's go with this option. Then you hit on next and this is where you can just customize whichever name it is. So we're just gonna call this one, let's go with uh, number two. So we're going to apply it. And now this is what our phone's gonna look like. You can see that all of the icons have switched and changed. And then some of the, the accented colors are gonna be that purplish color that we did put in. Uh, and so I don't see it too much here on the very top, but when it comes down to the rest of the accented colors, uh, that is where that purple will pop in. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, as well as Android 12 and the upcoming updates. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And again, write a comment below the video what you guys are most excited for because when you write comments, you give this thing big thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. So on the very top, I do want to show you one more thing and it's one of those nice things that if you're if you're in bed, you're laying down and you need your screen just to be a little less bright than what it is now, you'd have this option right there. Now you can see I'm still quite a bit, you know, almost close to the top. You're able to have a little extra dim to bring it down. So let's say that we were to bring it down here. Maybe you're laying in bed and you want it to just go a little bit more. You can simply just tap that icon instead of you having to drag it. Now, if you wanted to go even more, it's gonna be very hard for this camera to pick this up here, but you can go more, you can go less of a brightness than the normal stock you know, dim brightness. So this right here is basically all the way down. You can go even further if you want to. Don't really know <laughs> why. I mean, you're, you'll definitely be able to tell, you know, when you're laying in bed. So it's really nice that they gave the option for extra dim. It kind of brings it down a little bit more than where it's at. And the nice thing is that this doesn't bring it all the way down here for you to have to bring it up. It's just wherever it is located, um, you know, wherever it's sitting at, it's going to give that little extra dim without having to move the entire physical, you know, slider all the way to the left every single time you do that. Now the next setting or feature I wanna show you is still gonna be with inside of these quick tiles and that is looking at the storage screen here. So this is taking you into the files application. So with this one here, as you scroll down, you're gonna have all these different tiles right here. And if you were to swipe it left or right, it's gonna show you if you would like to, you know, don't show for seven days, don't show again. You can do that either going left or right, it doesn't really matter. Also too, if you were to press and hold on any of these, you know, quick settings, usually when you press and hold, it's gonna take you to more settings of that. This one's just gonna take you into the app information. Now also too, one of the nice things that I kind of noticed is sometimes when you see these little arrows, uh, you know, on a Samsung phone, when you hit the arrow, it's 
it's going to bring up like a smaller version of of like basically the full running application. So it's very similar as if you're to just tap it. And sometimes people think when you tap it, it's going to completely turn it off. So I'm very glad that it doesn't do that. Now, if you want to have the full screen of this, just do a simple press and hold. This is where you're going to see not only your Wi-Fi you're connected to, but also your 5G network as well, along with all of the rest of the, the Wi-Fi's all around you. So they did a really good job with kind of condensing so many different things and making things just work a little bit more seamless. Now, hopefully Samsung One UI is gonna adopt a lot of this. Now, this next thing I wanna show off is one that's just really dealing with how you charge it and the animation that comes with it, which I think is super clean and it looks really good. So anytime that you were to plug it in from the bottom, you're gonna see the animation go from the bottom. Now, if you were to do wireless charging, what it's gonna do is pretty much the same thing, but it's going to ripple out from the bottom. So it does that same animation, but kind of move from the the uh, from the middle of the phone now this also does give you a pretty good look at what the phone looks like with the lock screen so this looks pretty cool i like it you're going to have a little bounce effect as well then when you swipe up here is your little lock password or whatever you're going to be typing in then if you also have your little fingerprint on the back you'll be able to unlock your phone and head right back in so it just looks really cool with the animation of charging now this next one is very small but i think it's pretty cool to, to play with and if you ever wanted to just kind of pause an application press and hold tap on pause app so this way it's not running the battery it's not doing anything in the background maybe it's kind of like a little phone health type of a thing you just wanted to stop an application at really any given point in the day and if you ever do want to ever go right back it's going to be grayed out but once you tap on it either you can hit on okay because it's just saying that it's paused or you'd be able to go to unpause application and this way you'd be able to re uh, go back inside that application again so here is the ninth feature i want to talk about and here on the pixel when you go inside of your settings and then you go all the way down to system you go to gestures and this is where you have the option for a quick tap so quick tap allows you to tap the back of the phone twice and it'll give you a couple different options of what you're able to have it do for you you can even require it to have stronger taps so you can open up applications so show notifications see recent applications uh, play or pause media access your digital assistant or take a screenshot so if you want this to open up your google assistant with just a couple taps in the back you can do that also what you can do is if you wanted to you can take a screenshot some people might use that because it could be a little bit easier i use mine for the play pause media and it actually also brings us into the 10th one which we'll get to in just a second so we're going to go inside of YouTube Music. I'm going to play a song right here. So you can see that it's playing. Uh, I guess we can open this up here. So you can see that the pause is there for me to have that as an option. It's at about 21 seconds in. Now on the back of the phone, all you got to do is just give it a double tap like this. Now, sometimes it could be a little bit harder of a tap, a softer of a tap. It really kind of depends on what you think is either light or not. You can see that there it is paused because we have the play option. Now you can see that it's playing again. Now it's really cool. And now we're going to move over into the very last one here. And that is talking about the music widget that kind of shows on the top. So the cool thing here is that if you're to play or pause, you have those little animations with that play pause kind of going from whatever you are tapping. Then when you tap on that phone speaker, this is where you can simply change it to either your phone speaker or a Bluetooth device. This is where you can also turn up the, your phone volume if you want to, but for copyright reasons, cannot turn it up for right now. So that's it for today's video. I wanted to show off just a few things of what you're able to do on Android 12. Obviously, I probably did not hit everything on this phone yet. I kind of went for the things that really stood out, some of the things that meant something to me something that should be part of a video and nothing that is just dead space. But let me know what your guys' favorite feature is. Let me know what you guys are most excited for when it comes down to Android 12 coming to your Samsung Galaxy devices with the skin of Samsung One UI on top of it. I'm pretty excited for it. Even if Samsung doesn't even put One UI on top of it, this right here is actually pretty cool. And then just give us good, uh, you know, um, uh, good lock and then we're good to go with some of the additional customizations. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later